we are going to compare Intel's Pentium N3530 with Intel's Core i3 line of processor. Actually, the Core i3 is a very broad term and it ranges the four different uh, architectural series. The two latest one are the Haswell, the most recent one, and the Ivy Bridge, which is a predecessor to them. So, in the Core i3 also, we have different series, for example, the U-line indicates an ultra-low voltage processor and an M-line which is, indicates a regular mobile Pentium pro mobile processor. Now, coming to the N3530, which is a Pentium branded processor, is actually an Intel's Atom processor and it's Intel's marketing grim gimmick to change the change the uh, brand name to Pentium to potentially reflect a better brand because Atom was supposed to be a low uh, low end processor used for uh, netbook, uh, not, not netbooks and so on and so forth. But it's basically still the same Atom line of processor and that's why even though if you see a higher clock frequency at 2.1 GHz and 2.58 GHz and even though it's crash core as compared to the dual core of uh, Core i3 series, it still lacks in performance. We'll go through some of these numbers, but before we do that, let's see. The cache memory has 2 megabit as compared to the 3 megabyte of uh, Pentium uh, Core i3 processors. Now, one thing that works in favor of the Pentium process, this uh, Base processor is just low power. It's rated as 7.5 watts of TDP compared to 35 watts in the regular M line of processors and 15 watts in case of the U line of Core i3 processor. So if you are looking really for a low power notebook, you should go for the N3530. We also see the Intel, Intel has priced it lower $161, making it cheaper typically for notebooks under $300 or under $400. One thing is with this Patreon processor, they come with an uh, integrated graphic that's much inferior to the Core i3 graphics in the latest Core i3 uh, series. Uh, which are in the Haswell and the Ivy Bridge series of processors. Let's take a look at some quick numbers here. We have a pass mark score, the benchmark score for Core i3 that 4010U with Pentium N3530. Now, U line is typically clocked lower, and that is still is much better than the Pentium N3530. So if you are looking only for the performance and do not care for the battery life, mobility and so on and so forth, you may want to stick with Core i3-4010U. We hope that this uh, comparison is helpful for you. Thanks for taking a look.